Hey guys, well, I mean, you're stuck at home, the whole world. So I uh, thought maybe I would just start um, sharing longer term videos with you on YouTube. Uh, you may like my style, you may not like my style of presentation or talking, but uh, I will send you some songs, I'll give you some tips. Uh, I'll chat about my philosophies and stuff. What I got on the table here is 42 different pieces of black and white um, little canvases. They are 8 by 8 canvases. As you can see at the back, they are actually got bored. I had them specially made. So when I put them on the walls, of a person's home, they look solid and they won't buckle at all. I made it like this because in New York, um, some apartments are small or somebody may want me to put a, a piece of art on a small wall, in which case this measures 60 by something. I think it's about 48 or something like that. Um, or I can expand it so big because I can either put the tiles together like so or well, depending on somebody could say to me they want a, a 8 9 10 11 12 foot painting all i do is when i'll expand the the blocks it could take up an entire wall which would look really really cool so um i have put three coats of paint on the whites um because they're going to look really white i'm not going to gloss them it's not necessary uh, well, I may gloss them. I'll see you later. It's my prerogative when I'm an artist. You, you can do whatever you like. Um, and uh, now I'm actually going to put a a second layer of black on my other little canvases. Um, I was at the store today and I forgot to buy black paint, which is really dumb. Uh, so I'm going to use one of these as a kind of an easel. I don't want to get any black on the white and I'm quite a messy painter because when you get black on white, you've got to go over it many times to get rid of the black. So I'll paint slowly and, um, I will get back to you when I'm finished painting we're going over the black. So, uh, because sales are basically ceased for the next couple of weeks or who knows how long. The nice thing about, um, the positive thing for me about the coronavirus and for you too is I'm one of the few assets that are actually going to increase if I actually do get sick uh, and my chance of dying become higher then my prices of my paintings go up substantially. So <coughs> every time I cough, like my paintings go up by like a grand. So <coughs> my prices just went up $3,000. So better than colored diamond purchases, better than probably property, better than pretty much anything. You buy bananas, I get sick and I die. You, you're wealthy. So, uh, here it is, you're seeing the man, who knows, maybe you don't see me tomorrow. In any case, I'm working on three paintings at the same time, and well, I'm actually going to be working on about ten paintings at the same time. Because I am preparing for the best. I do work with a lot of realtors, high end, and um, I supply my, my art free of charge. Um... to the realtors uh, some really great relationships I've made and um, I do a, a profit share um, a lot of realtors are making uh, really good money with me uh, the lowest earner last year made $25,000 and I do believe that realtors are the forefronts and the front line to, uh, to art buyers. So things are going to get tougher and you're going to have to start expanding your, 
your lateral thinking um, on how you're going to start making extra money when you get back to business. Um, and um, perhaps you can offer, or you should be offering, not only my art, but uh, other artists' paintings as options for buyers to, um, to see what their houses look like and buy paintings, in which case you deserve your commission. You've worked very hard for your relationships, and I do pay very big commissions. So the reason being is because I managed to to not work with galleries. I broke the gallery uh, chain. Uh, I do do a lot of philanthropy and I'm proud of it. I've donated over $200,000 to charity. Um, amazing organizations. And um, yeah, I just wanted you to kind of get to know me and over the next few months, develop some kind of relationship with or hopefully good friends with a few of you. I'm not looking to work with the whole world, probably in New York City, maybe 12 to 20 agents. There's only so many originals that I can produce um, and they are high end. The prices are high. Uh, it's not a volume business, but um, it's uh, 40, 50, 60 paintings, 70 paintings a year, which becomes good money for you and for me. So watch me paint, uh, maybe paint along. Uh, you can ask me any questions, send me messages. There are amazing specials at certain stores at certain times of the year where you can really get into a new hobby for, for really cheap. Um, and art will expand your mind in ways that you never dreamed possible. Uh, it's physically proven, well, well, scientifically proven, that art does expand the right side of your brain and there's a specific charity in South Africa um, who literally teaches children how to paint for the simple reason because it makes them better entrepreneurs, problem solving. Uh, as I say, you guys are realtors. Um, I'm sure the market's wiped out as so, as so many other markets are. And you're going to have to work out how to start getting back your customers and there's going to be a big lag in, um, in business and you're going to have to get clever. So maybe painting will, well not maybe, I guarantee you that painting will um, get you thinking creatively in ways that you never dreamed possible. This is another painting that I'm working on. It's, a, it's, it's called One Love. Uh, it's got real boxing gloves on it. Um, it's very cool. Uh, I was a boxing player in Las Vegas. Hence, actually, I still wear a lot of boxing stuff. Youngest licensed fight promoter in the history of Las Vegas, actually. And um, I am one of the official artists. Well, pretty much at the moment, the official artist for the Ali Frazier 50th anniversary event, which is taking place at Madison Swell venue still to be announced but it's going to be a city-wide kind of festivity so that was a really nice uh, um, thing for me to be uh, to be chosen for and I will show you the uh, the save the date invite um, perhaps I can ask her for an extra ticket and one of one of your one of my viewers or somebody can win a, a prize to come with me to to the major world title fight that they'll be having at Madison Square Garden. So, um, yeah, listen, got nothing else to do but chat. Some paintings take me two hours, some, pe some pieces take me 20 hours, some pieces have taken me four years, five years. So, depends on the piece, um, and that's what art is. Uh, and as we go further on a daily basis, I will give you a bit more insight into my journey and you can feel free to share your journey with me. Over there on that wall is um, one, two, three, four, 16 different canvases, which I'm going to turn into a magnificent lion. Um, again, it can either be, I think that is 80 by 70 something, or I can expand it to 140, 150 by whatever. So... Speak soon.